Now, you, you had indicated a little bit ago, do you want me to talk about all four of those points? No, what I'm saying, you know, okay. when you listen to them, they are trying to, to, to explain and make us understand how these are the four pillars of unpassive right and, and because and that is our proud pride and that's what makes us say we own the internet right. because of these four so based on what they have said what remark what comments do you want to make it's all yours bro the the big point here for me my takeaway from what they're saying is data center data center data center and i agree now we we got four pillars right and they were listed in a certain way, but if if you'll allow me a few minutes, if we rearrange those, maybe we can make it a little easier to understand. Uh, first and foremost, I would take pillar number one as our data center, right? I mean, it's been uh, for a long time. We've been working on this. We know what it's all about. The text talks about cloud computing, right? Uh, the delivery of computing services and services, uh, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, all this stuff, right? And intelligence over the internet, right? Now, if we drill down, and this goes directly to the question you had a little bit ago about why are we going to be, no, the question was, why is a data center a pillar? Well, let me tell you something. If you drill down into what these guys are talking about and you actually look down, you're gonna see that this the data center is actually a, a double-edged sword. I mean, when we're using our own resources to store all of our own data, we're not paying millions of dollars to somebody else, hello AWS, right? To store it for us, we're in control of it and we're saving a ton of money. On the other side of that, when you drill right down into cloud computing, there's four main services. Now get this, right? There is serverless, right? There is information as a service, there's platform as a service, and the one we all know and love, which is a software as a service. So I shouldn't have to explain software as a service because that's exactly what we are. However, serverless computing is, is, a, is a piece of, it's like, it's like hardware and software that provides functionality for other programs and, design, and, and devices. And I say this because it's a cloud computing model that allows developers to, to build and run applications without having to manage backend infrastructure. That's important to us, why? Because on passive now has all that backend infrastructure so we can jump into that uh, space, right? So that's just not our data center for us. That's now going out and offering these services to other people. Infrastructure is a service the same way. It's a cloud service model that provides computing, it, storage, network server, vid, vir, uh, virtualization, right? We've got our own stuff going. We can now offer all that stuff, right? Infrastructure as a service. We can now offer that to a ton of other people. Same thing with platform as a service. All four of these, once you drill down, on passive said, yeah, Ash said specifically, we're going to be in every sector on the planet. And this and this is how we're doing it. Because when you do platform as a service, that's a complete cloud environment. It includes, it includes everything that developers need to build on and to manage their applications. So if they don't have to have it and we got it, they're buying it from us. Okay? So we become the Amazon. And obviously, the software as a service, that's, that's, that's really cool stuff too. So that's why data centers in my opinion is the first pillar because when you have data centers and you have all this networking and all this computability and all this data uh everything that you can do with it then your second pillar that's when we're going to have okay we've got all this stuff with all this software the entire platform now we're going to slap on top of that we're going to give it the i can and we're going to be the registrar so now we can go at we can we can sell uh from a to z on the internet domains right with and and obviously with idns and talk about old domain and all of that so that's going to be absolutely huge on top of that the fourth pillar or it was the fourth i'd call it probably the third or whatever one i'm on you know you're talking about the payment processing solution 
So you've got the networking capability, which is the physical structures and the software and the data. On top of that, you put the ICANN registration so you can reach the world. On top of that, you put on the money so that you can go out and once you reach the world, you can now interact and you can throw money back and forth and transfer it and do all sorts of neat stuff. And then the last pillar, obviously, the EOS, which is, you know, like our tech said, that's, that's the bread and butter. That's, that's the, the cash cow because all of our products and everything is coming from that particular platform. So when you stack those on top of each other like that, and then you say, we own and control every bit of that, that answers to your question, how is it that we can do all this and what does that mean that we can control the pricing? Think about this. We we not only own all the all the all the data, all the software. We wrote it from scratch, right? I mean, from the bottom up. We own, there is no third party in there. We own it. We control it. We charge what we want. And one of the techs said earlier, when we can do that, we're not paying third party people to do something which jacks up the cost of the price uh, of, of the the product. So we don't we, we got that going for us. Secondarily, when we have the best product on the market at the less uh, at, at the most least expensive price and it's all integrated, it's all been written to work together, we can dictate the price across the economy because now we're the leader. Now we're the sought after. Now we're the ones that are writing the rules and everybody's trying to catch up with us. So I, I hope I didn't take that. But yeah, my mind is just like... Yes, I, I um, like what he said. We will, you will not be the same after next week. <laughs> Indeed, Jeffrey, I'm just proud of myself because my question I thought it was quite confusing, but then you answered it just exactly what I wanted to hear. You gave me the response. Thank you so much. Comfort it did well. Thank you.